Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well today. So today I thought I would bring you another monthly favourites video. So a favourites video for the month of December. It's just been Christmas and so I thought what a wonderful time to share with you some really nice things um, and some companies that I'm really enjoying at the minute. So yes, I've got quite a collection of stuff right now so I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you all. So the first thing that I want to share is something that I'm so excited about. It's something that I've wanted for such a long time and it's these wax wraps and I am super happy because I found the most wonderful lady um, and her company is on Etsy and it's Rowan Stillwater and she was lovely enough to send these to me so that I could try them out and I am in love with them. You know, I've wanted wax wraps for so, so long but the reason that I was put off by them for such a long time is because they use beeswax and um, as a vegan I just try not to use any animal products at all. Um, if there's an alternative then I will use that and I was hoping that one day someone in England would make Make, you know an alternative to beeswax wraps and that has happened in the form of Rowan Stillwater <laughs> so yeah these these wax wraps are made from olive oil tree resin um, candelia and soy wax so you know they're really great and it's 100% cotton material and I just think the patterns are really nice too so I will leave her links below and you can go and have a look she's got all sorts of different designs and you know um, different size ones so I've got three here um, one of them's quite small and it's perfect for wrapping up little snacks or popping over the top of your mason jar and then there's a medium one which again you know like you can just get creative and you can fold them into all sorts of different shapes and then I've got this big one too and you know this one's just wonderful for covering over dishes and stuff like that and once you get these dirty you can just give them a wipe down um, and yeah, I've just taken this off a chocolate cake that I had, so that's why there's a bit of chocolate on there. But all I will do is just wet um, a cloth and just wipe that away. And, you know, they're completely sanitary and completely healthy and much better than cling film for our environment. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with those and I'm super, super happy to be supporting such a wonderful lady. And, you know, she's on such a great mission. And the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, because obviously it's a zero waste business, um, she wrapped everything zero waste so everything came in paper packaging and there was no plastic which I am so thankful for so thank you Rowan if you're watching this so the next thing I want to share with you I'll just pop those out of the way <laughs> is this deck of cards and this has been on my horizon for a little while and I've you know I've put off getting them but because of some money that I came into around Christmas time I thought I would treat myself and get some of these and I think of them as intention cards so they're just fantastic and they're really nice little reminders, you know, they're kind of a little bit like a tarot card but not as intense and you know, they're just a little bit easier to use so I really like them. So this is what the back looks like and then there's all different quotes and lovely things and if you follow me on Instagram you'll have probably seen these because they make an appearance in my Insta stories quite a lot. I just think it's really nice, you know, to share different quotes with you all. So here's one that's really nice that I've just picked out and you know there are so so many more and this one. But yeah, they are wonderful and I really, really enjoyed including them into my morning routine. You know, seeing what I pick out that day and seeing whether it's relevant to my life and, you know, what I can take from that. And they're also just really, really lovely quotes too. <laughs> so yeah, that's those. So I got this card deck from Amazon and I got a few other things that I'll mention from there too. So I'll make sure that I leave all the links below in the description box so that if you're interested in them, then you can, you know, have a little look around and have a little nosy at them. So the next thing is this. I got a bullet journal which was inspired by Caitlin Shoemaker if you watch her. Um, I got the same book as her because the other ones that you get, you know, the classic ones are super expensive. So this is a nice alternative seeing as though it's my first ever bullet journal. I normally use this big notepad to write down, you know, video ideas and brainstorming things and to-do lists for each day and it's just getting crazy how much paper I'm wasting. So I decided to go a bit more streamlined and invest in one of these. So I'll give you a sneak peek at, you know, a few pages and if any of you are interested in a bullet journal kind of like flick through or a video about bullet journals then just let me know below because if that's something you're interested in then I'm more than happy to make that video because I'm super interested in them myself. Um, so the first page obviously I've put my um, inspiration board on all of my dreams and wishes and then the next page I've just got this quote that I really really like and um, yeah I've, I've done all sorts of little bits and bobs and I've still got a lot to do um, but I'm really really enjoying this and I think it's such a, an easier way for my brain to process all the things that I've got to do 
<laughs> because I'm just going to give you a little hint about what's coming next but I'm launching two exciting projects in the next month so yeah watch this space because I'm a very busy bee at the minute <laughs> so the next thing this is when I had time <laughs> last month I decided to make myself these slippers I crocheted them myself and um, it's one of the first projects I've ever completed you know ever started and completed and I'm so proud of myself because a few I think it was like a year ago I was in Australia and I saw these pop up on YouTube you know a video about them and I was like how cool is that that you can make your own slippers and since that day I was like I'm gonna learn how to crochet and I'm going to make slippers one day and that day came the other day and I thought you know what I really manifested these things into my life and I'm so happy with how they turned out so yeah there's something really beautiful about making your own clothing as opposed to buying it and you know you realize and appreciate how much work goes into them and you really do want to look after them so then the next thing is I hope I'm not flying through these too quickly. I, I am always really conscious that I do blabber in these videos, but <laughs> um, it's batch remedies. And you might have heard of them before. You might not have as well. They're kind of like in the same family as an essential oil, apart from they're a lot more diluted. They're not as strong as an essential oil and they're kind of completely different. They are all homeopathic remedies and you can get all kinds of different ones. The one you might be familiar with is the rescue remedy and I used this before my driving test <laughs> um, and I swore by it like when I was younger and I they kind of just fell off my radar and so the other day I was in Holland and Barrett and it was like buy one and get one for a penny or some crazy crazy deal and I was like you know what I'm gonna do just that so I got the white chestnut which is supposed to help with rumination and repetitive thoughts which is something that I definitely deal with so it's kind of helpful to make you relax and stop overthinking every single thing in life and then obviously the rescue remedy is wonderful if you get anxiety or you know you get really really wound up or you just find yourself like on the edge all the time and it's kind of, it, yeah, it says on here comfort and reassure and I would say that's exactly what it does. So for me, it really works and you just put, it comes with a little dropper like this and all you do is just put a few drops onto your tongue. I think it says four drops um, and yeah, you know, it works. <laughs> so the next exciting thing, this is, you know, this is up there with the wax wraps is this film case. I got the Pella phone case and it's 100% compostable, zero plastic and I'm so excited about it because it's just a company that I really support and I'm really really happy that you know are on this journey and you know selling phone cases to the masses that are so much better than the ones that are you know available by everyone else. So this is what the phone case looks like. I got the Save the Waves one and it's a charity that you know is all to do with saving the oceans and raising awareness about the plastic pollution on our planet and you know they're all things that I'm super super passionate about and it came in this paper packaging there's absolutely zero plastic apart from obviously the sticky label but you can't avoid that unfortunately and they always come with these handwritten notes which I just think is a really lovely touch and then on the back it just explains about why they no longer use any plastic packaging and kind of why they've streamlined their product and I just think it's really liberating to get something sent to you and it just be in the cardboard box like you don't need any wrappers or fancy frills and bows and well it's just lovely and I really appreciated it so yeah unfortunately they're not an English company so I do you know you do have to pay the extra shipping but like I said there's nothing like this anywhere else that I've come across so I'm super happy to support them on this mission and hopefully in the future we'll see more innovative designs and people that are really trying to help the planet but yeah I got the passion for this because I've just been watching Blue Planet and I don't know if any of you are and um, if you're from the US and I'm not sure whether you can see this or not but if you can then please please do it's such an important documentary and it's kind of like a little mini series and the last one in the series absolutely had me in pieces it was so just so sad but so gripping at the same time and it made you really feel like you could make a difference in the world if you tried and yeah you know it talked about plastic pollution and you know the devastating impact that we're having on the planet and the planet's animals and yeah you know it, it took me a second to gather myself back together after that and just be like you know what that's really stoked the fire for the zero waste journey and you know the minimalist journey contributing to less 
consumerism, choosing the right things to be a consumerist with, you know, the right products. So that was why I got this phone case because my last phone case was from, um, it was from Amazon about four years ago and it cost me 80 pence and it came from Japan. So, you know, that phone case, it lived a long life, but I can't say that's a very sustainable option. And, you know, now it's broken, the corners, the corners broke off. And so it's, it's still completely intact other than that and I know that phone case is still going to be around in years and years to come even though it can no longer function as a phone case. So to have a phone case that I know I can put into my compost heap and it will disappear, that's just really like liberating and I feel like it's a real relief on my behalf that I'm not just going to live my life and leave all of these plastic phone cases behind. So rant over about the pillowcase, case but if you are interested in a new phone case I would highly recommend checking this company out. I just really, really like them and I really like the quote that I got, save the waves, because it's just a nice daily reminder about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. <laughs> so while I've got my phone in my hand, I will talk about the next thing, which is, you know, the drill. It's a podcast. And so this is a podcast I came across recently and I can't remember where I found out about it, but it's the Thought for Food thought for food podcast and the podcast i listened to that i really really enjoyed is called what's the deal with fasting and it's super interesting i love listening to podcasts on my run and the other week i was on nights and so it was really nice to be able to learn things while you're working or while you're being productive it's like being doubly productive so i'm a big advocate for podcasts i think that they're super super awesome um, and this podcast was particularly interesting to me because i'm into um, intermittent fasting and it was also talking about water fasting and the benefits and the you know the way that humanity has always done that and kind of it yeah it just it's a really grounding podcast and it makes you realize how much we overeat as a society and how like back to our roots we weren't designed to eat 24 hours in a day and it kind of just really humbled me um, so if you're interested in fasting and things like that then just check them out they're very scientific but it's very like you know open-minded and really helpful in giving you kind of a non-biased opinion about something so yeah check them out if you enjoy podcasts so one of the last things that i want to start doing in these uh, monthly favorites videos or whenever i do these favorites videos is i want to shout out somebody and i want to share a youtube channel that i'm really enjoying because i think it's super important so yeah the youtube that i want to share with you all is this beautiful beautiful little lady called Nelia Rose and she's such an inspiration she's such a wonderful lady and you know she really really inspires me and she's very very similar to myself we've had some wonderful chats on Instagram and I just love her you know I love her to pieces and I think she's so fantastic and a lot of her views are so in line with my own and she does decluttering videos minimalism videos she's into zero waste and budgeting and I think you would all get a lot from her so please check her out because she's absolutely amazing and yeah I will leave all of her links below so that you can you know go over and give her a little bit of support because yeah I just think it's super important and my channel has grown so much and I'm so thankful for the growth that I've been given and you know everyone that's been so supportive and I think it's important to share that love around you know share share it it's not it's not fair to keep everything to yourself all the time and I see that a lot and you know people that are really popular sharing other really popular people but kind of it's nice to give a little bit back you know give give to someone that's got less than you because it's kind of like it's just really nice and just because they've got less subscribers doesn't mean that their videos have got less quality or less content because sometimes you find it's quite the opposite so yeah don't be put off by somebody if they don't have very many subscribers or you know if they've got a lower amount of subscribers than someone with heaps and heaps so yeah I got this idea from um, Sustainably Vegan and I'm sure a lot of you if you're into like zero waste and veganism you will have heard of her for sure but she said in one of her videos recently that it's not about competition and it's not about competing with each other it's about collaborating with each other and making connections and I am so in line with that and I just think that is such a wonderful way to live and you know it's so important because I'm on this journey to help the world and to share the message and if I keep all of you subscribers to myself then I can't share that message as far as I could if I shared it with other people and you got that from all different kinds of people so I think that's super important and so yeah please check her out and um, if you do go over then just say that I sent you there because I think it's super cool to see how many of you do venture over to her videos so yes <laughs> thank you
thank you all so so very much for watching and I really appreciate that you enjoy listening to me blubber on and you know you enjoy listening to the things that I enjoy in my life so if any of the things that I've mentioned are things that you've got yourself or things that you're interested in yourself then please leave me a comment below because I'd be super interested to find out and yeah that is it from me so I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching bye guys Thank you.